Hello guys, welcome back. We have the Capcom online program. It's happening now. It's live, so let's react to it, shall we? It's starting right now, so I think they announced that what games that they're gonna show here. I think there's an Evil, Dragon Dogma, Street Fighter, and other games. So let's see. I'm not expecting like old school games like Dark Stalker, Power Stone, Rise of Schools, so, or even Devil May Cry 6. Maybe just the returning titles that we know, Street Fighter, Phoenix Wright, The Evil, this game, which is, I don't know what happened to that game, man, it died so fast, so I've seen the community in Steam, and the online, there, there's not a lot of people playing, man. <laughs> Welcome to the TGS 2023 Capcom Online Tokyo Special Game Show, Program. man. Yeah, I forgot it's Tokyo Game Show. We'll share news and updates on some of Capcom's latest games. Yeah, I don't we think they're gonna know something. The end. Here, Let's have a look at this title first. Oh, Dragon's Dogma, man. Holy shit. Did they show this gameplay the last time? Maybe that's new trailer, I don't know. I forgot. Holy shit. Hello everyone. I'm Oh Hitsuke Tsono. Oh come on man, this is the guy who's responsible for Rival School, Power Stone, Capcom Resist, and K2 man. Hitsuke Tsono. Come on man. Give us a Rival School collection or Dark oh, Already we have a Dark Stalker. So. Or power. We need Power Stone on Rival School. Today, I'd like to show you a little of what you can expect from the world of Dragon's Dogma 2 with this new gameplay footage. Okay. Is it gonna be a multiplayer? In Dragon's Dogma 2, up to three AI control beings called AI can join you oh, on that's... your adventures. Why you cannot play online, man? Players can choose from four starting vocations that determine how they Fighter, play. Fighter, Thief, Mag, and Archer. Of course, you will be able to change your vocation at any time by visiting Vocation Guild. Why can't you play like an online multiplayer now, man? Let's look at the I hope they vocation. add something like this. Wielding a one-handed sword and shield, the fighter excels in melee combat. As a fighter, you can cut down enemies with a sword and protect yourself and your party using your shield. Nice. As we what was that screen? We can see some harpies in the distance. As an archer, you'll be better suited yeah, to the enemies above you. Or Hawkeye. Let's see what they can do. Robin Hood. The archer is a vocation that uses a bow and arrow to attack enemies from a distance. Make full use of your arsenal, including exploding or it blunting just, arrows. And the show just started, and I'm just on. Like a third the person shooter. The monsters of Dragon's Dogma 2 behave organically in the world around them, and will even react to players by using their wits against you. Okay. Next, I would like to show you the mage in action. Mages excel at long-range magical attacks, as well as healing and support spells that bolster your party with various enchantments to give allies an advantage cool, in battle. If they... Just like I said, man, it would be cool if you can play with your friends, like multiplayer, you know, for party group. But I don't think that's their direction, so it's just kind of weird, man. In addition to the pawns, they're not making a lot of money man, act with, with their games. Of the world. What's this? More than before, man. Like back in the 2010s, like 2010, 11, 12, Capcom was not doing that good, man. But now Capcom is doing so much good, man. They have plenty of money with their titles now. The grosses, the, the, the games, their grosses. Uh, the grosses maybe like the one game that made Capcom rich. I think it's Monster Hunter World. Yeah. 
and of the course other titles. For the thief against massive monsters is to find openings this is God of War, man. The enemy to deal damage. Fighting head on is always an option, but it's a good idea to utilize Damn. the environment around you shit. while engaging with enemies. Exploded like Between a river or down. Diverse terrains and the particular monster you're up against, each encounter challenges players and their party make him fall, to make him fall. creativity to succeed. What the fuck? <laughs> Two nations prosper in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. Vermund, the human kingdom, and Batal, the land of Beastron. The land of Beastron. In Vermund, the Arisen who slay the dragon have ruled as kings for generations. Oh. This land of lush meadows and rolling hills is ripe for exploration. In contrast, Batal is a rugged canyon nation with a city built on the site of ancient ruins. Okay. It is home to the Bistrin and their unique culture. Okay. The nation of Batal offers players a different experience from the human kingdom with diverse environments to explore and monsters to encounter. Okay. In your adventures, you might come across people who call out to you. Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Other times, you might receive quests from people who you aid. Nightmares. Thought I'd ne'er make it. If I might be so bold as to impose upon you again, would you be willing to accompany me to the cemetery and safeguard me from harm? I think it's gonna become an open. Uh, I think it's, uh, the game is gonna be able to guide you to the right location. Be open world game, maybe. But it is up to like the open world with limitations to follow them or not. Pawns support you throughout your adventures and may come to your aid when you are in trouble. What the f <laughs> To complete your quests, you can ride ox carts to travel to major locations. But be aware, as you might get attacked en route to your destination Shit. and have to decide how to tackle the situation. During the ride, you can choose to close your eyes to quickly arrive at your destination. I'll close my eyes. Time is ever passing, even while riding an ox cart, and the environment around the player constantly changes. Nighttime is especially dangerous. I love nighttime, man. With no light to eliminate your surroundings, you will be enveloped in pitch black darkness where you can't even see your feet. Also, there are dangerous monsters that only appear at night, so you need to be careful when adventuring in the dark. Nice. So elements, man, in the environment. That's if that's cool. If you have a camping man. kit, you can find a campsite. Like monsters appear at night, and monsters appear in the morning. That's that's freaking dope. Good evening, Arisen. Man, Capcom making a lot of bucks, man. I'm telling you. They're going all out with this with all their games now, so they're making I'd like to they're making some advanced functions. vocations that become available as you progress. I don't remember Capcom had to, had like an online program back in 2010. Magic attacks and weapon based physical going on. That at that time Capcom was poor and shit man. close range and magic at long range. They can also use magic to block an enemy's movement or throw multiple items at once. But everything changes with Monster Hunter. The oh, magic man. archer is a vocation a that lot of specializes in long range attacks with magic. After that, all the good games come. On top of healing and providing support to allies, they can the learn a skill that releases a powerful attack over a wide so area to a remake, in exchange for reducing their own maximum HP. A lot of good games. And of course, that there are other unique ones that really wanted is not to. here, man. We have a playable the version of Dragon's Dogma stuff. 2 at the Tokyo Capcom. Game Show Capcom booth. Depending on the choices they make, each player can experience very different. Oh, I can play it in the Tokyo Game Show. I'm very much looking booth? forward to the well, I'm not in Tokyo, so get a chance to I'm play. in Canada right now. Dragon's Dogma 2 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Oh, no PlayStation 4 Xbox version? Series S, and Steam. Holy shit, man. I'm so sorry, PlayStation 4. No, even Nintendo Switch. And Xbox and Steam. Nice. So there's no. <laughs> No PS version, but that's, but that's weird because the Xbox says it's Xbox Series X and S, but no PS4 version? That's so freaking weird, man. Nice.
course, no Nintendo Switch because Nintendo can handle graphics, you guys. I don't know if you saw that Mortal Kombat Man, graphics. God, and the Resident Evil series. looks horrible. <laughs> Resident Evil 4, oh. a reimagining of the 2005 original. The legendary game, man. Has sold more than the legendary game, copies. and I didn't play the remake until now. So I think it's good now because they're releasing a DLC. So I might buy like the whole complete collection, like complete game now with the DLC, Resident so I can experience so the whole game. And delve into the new DLC Holy shit! Now available. Separate ways. Come on, come on, Kako, don't do this to me. Separate ways tell I have to go to now to my Steam Deck and buy the game. This content from the original game returns as an expanded DLC experience. Oh God! The main story follows. Leo I remember now. Yeah, you can play with Ada in the original game. Now you're playing as a DLC. This is. Separate ways in turn. Oh, I wish I could can go back in the the village simpler time. Where you can play the when you can experience the whole game Ada is in one with a disc from the sinister PlayStation West. This Many is the game when you don't have to pay way. for DLCs, you don't have to An do unknown threat anything. You just experience the whole game with one C D and that's it. The one DVD Amber. and that's it, man. What and choices will Ada make? You continue with your life, man. You don't have to buy any more content, you just have to buy the game, and that's it, man. Returns as well. Fight back with precise gunplay. Use melee attacks against downed enemies, and wield your knife to parry attacks and silently neutralize threats. Ada's iconic like like grapple gun has also been added Batman. in different ways, resulting in a more thrilling, fast-paced survival horror experience. Ada's gameplay has a unique feel from Resident Evil 4's main campaign, and we hope you enjoy piecing together the full scope of the story through separate ways. Yeah, I think it's, it's good now to buy Resident Evil now. And Find Lewis. Fetch me I can Amber. experience now the whole game. Sorry, big guy. Can't let you go that way. There's someone who needs me. She's lost no matter what. Oh God. You think I'm going to give up that easy? Change of plans. Oh, but there's no room for half measures. You can stop right there. Separate ways. Would it make me use this? Would you? So, should I buy it now? And the separate it ways four? DLC is available today. I really want to play it in 4K, man, but Steam, Steam Deck doesn't, for the mercenaries doesn't handle also 4K. Releases today. Ada Wong and Albert Wesker oh. appear as new okay, characters I just in this free update. Get over it and get the over with it. So. is an arcade style mode where you take down as many enemies as possible with a scenario mode. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this mode. I don't know. for anyone who owns the main game. We hope you enjoy the revamped The Mercenaries. The Separate Ways DLC and The Mercenaries free update both arrive today for Resident Evil 4. Oh, they're gonna release maybe Resident, Resident Evil 4 Evil Gold 4 Edition. Also so discount that com that, that time comes, I'm gonna buy the whole game. Time. If you haven't played the game yet, now is a great time. Yep. See? The free as Resident I told you guys. VR mode DLC, I was right. If you didn't play the game yet, to enjoy the that's a good time. Story of RE4 on PlayStation VR 2 is also currently in development. Prepare to I think I'm gonna buy when 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 this, this game goes gold edition, like was it Evil Seven? The incredibly detailed environments come to life in VR, and you can see the world all around you. The immersive 3D audio and the intuitive controls unique to the same. Damn, you can play the whole game in VR mode. Allow you to experience ultimate immersion. The slide and reload controls of the many weapons in the game are realistic, down to their finest details. Damn. The knife. Handgun. Shotgun. That's awesome, man. I mean, I didn't buy the VR, the first, the first so VR. So gun. I didn't buy the second one, but this is cool, man. I, I really like. I, I have one of my friends who experienced Resident Evil Seven in VR, in PlayStation Four, and he said that game with VR mode is 
fucking awesome. So imagine if we were playing this in VR mode. Holy shit. Experience the ultimate immersive experience with Resident Evil 4 VR. With Phil 7 man, it's, it releases this winter. it's fucking scary as shit, man. So. Resident Evil 4 is also coming to a new platform. All Macs featuring Apple Silicon will support the game. Holy shit, it's coming to the Apple? The beautiful and detailed graphics of RE4 are powerfully represented on Mac. No, 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 Mac is shit. We aim so. to bring the realistic Don't compare Mac to PC, man. Mac RE4 doesn't handle graphics so well. Users. Heck, man, even Resident Switch can handle graphics better than Mac. IPad. Even an iPad? This is fucking ridiculous, man. Be played on every iPad Air and Holy iPad shit. Model with an M1 Capcom's going all out. <laughs> You'll be able to enjoy intense survival horror at home or on the go. Damn, Resident Evil 4 now it's all in the on Mac all platforms. Of Resident Evil 4 is planned for release in 2023. Mac and iPad. This is fucking and separate ways DLC dope, man. Popcom is going insane. Also in the works for Mac and iPad. Keep your eyes open for more information. Holy shit. They're going to sell more and more. even Village? The iPad version of Resident Evil Village will be released. It is also available for every iPad Air and iPad Pro with an M1 <laughs> Mac users, this is your lucky day if you're not a... Comfortable gaming experience. Holy shit, if you can play with two controllers? Xbox and PlayStation? The oh no, screen touch is fucking and horrible. Are also adjustable for touch controls. So you can customize your experience. Mac people, you this is your lucky day. And iPad people, this is your lucky Enjoy day. You can play now Resident Evil in and your anytime, tablets. Anywhere. I'm not a big fan of tablets Check and Mac, site especially Apple laptops. You know, the game, the real gaming platform is the PC and the consoles. Mac is not a gaming we have platform. The latest news on That's what I Ace Attorney trilogy. First, let's take a look at this trailer. We just saw a trailer, man. Why are you showing us another, like, same trailer? It's an old game. And this is the 3DS one. Oh, there's a new game? Oh, it's the same one. Oh, I thought they're gonna release a new one. Okay, maybe it's a new one. Oh, no, no, it's the old one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is all games released in 3DS, man. I mean, that's cool, man. I mean, I love Phoenix Wright, but I just played the first one and the second one. Then I stop. I love the characters and everything, but it's not my my type of games, you know. Just experience the first game, the second one, and I stop. It's a cool game. I love the characters, but I'm not a Phoenix Wright expert. So. Silence. Silence. Simon Blackwell. I love, the, I love the falcon on his shoulder. Like the hawk. The prosecution. Oh, Miles Edgeworth. One of the famous characters in Phoenix Wright and Phoenix Wright and Falls and Follow. I don't know who she, she is. The characters. I mean, you, you brought back Phoenix Wright and uh, Ice Attorney. Collections. Why can't you do like Power Stone, you guys? Like, come on, Capcom. We've been asking for Power Stone, Plasma Sword, Rival School, Capcom vs. K Collection. Just wh why are you avoiding these games, man? Like, what's happening? Like Phoenix Wright. I know Phoenix Wright is like existed like way back in the DC, DC, and it's in the DS, DC, <laughs> it's in the DS era. So. Why are you not bringing all the like all these classic games, man? Dino Crisis, Chaos Legion. That's weird. Man. That's weird. Like all my favorite games, Capcom been avoiding for now for 
23 years. Maybe 15 years. I don't know, man. It's been so long, man. I mean, I'm happy they released like a Dark Stalker collection. Well, Capcom stated that that collection sold well, they're gonna consider it Dark Stalker. So, I don't think Capcom fans like. That's weird, man. Like, Capcom fans asking for Dark Stalkers and Capcom just released like a collection. Apparently it didn't sell well, so that's why they're like avoiding Dark Stalkers maybe. To me actually I bought the I bought the collection like the Capcom Fighting Bundle. I bought it instantly man. I fucking love Dark Stalkers man. Oh it's coming in all platforms. Okay, nice. So what did you think? So I instantly bought that bundle since it dropped in Steam. So I couldn't like resist but, I mean come on man, Dark Stalker collections, all the games. This is fucking dope. So that's weird man because the fans have been asking and yeah, yeah, we want Dark Star Collection. Now you got one, but no one's playing now. The online, no one's playing the game. So. Every time I go, just fire up the game and want to play online. There's no one there, so. Additional features: Silent Launcher. Select an episode to play from each game right from the start. Oh, okay. You can also freely select any chapter within an episode. For the DLC. This collection also includes episodes and costumes previously released as DLC from Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies yeah, and the and 3DS. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. <laughs> Players can enjoy the story. That orca came out of nowhere, you know. Like Athena and Apollo in nice these school first, uniforms. First. The bonus episodes, Turnabout Reclaimed from Dual Destinies and Turnabout Time Traveler from Spirit of Justice are also included. These episodes are just as much fun as the main story, so we hope you give them a try. Visit the museum to check out the future museum. Pictures. Oh, they're gonna show us some artwork. Man, I just seeing all this man, like seeing all Capcom focusing on these games, and not focusing on Life School and Hearthstone makes me angry. Man. I don't know, Dino Crisis. I don't know, man. I don't know. An additional fourteen songs from orchestral performances are also included. Makes me <sighs> makes me want to hit something. <laughs> on our official site after this presentation. So please check it like, out. I don't care, man, if you guys just released the Rival School collection. I'll buy it. In the art library, I'll buy it, man. I'll buy like 50 copies if you guys want. Including character references, cut so stop avoiding. And background images from each title. As you complete each game in the collection, you'll unlock illustrations from renowned illustrators. Yeah, that's... That's awesome. Complete man. all three games in this collection for Well, I'm happy for you, Phoenix Light fans. So please look forward to it. That's a whole collection of this is the second collection, I think, yeah. For the two you games. Can the first collection is released, so this is voices, the second. So music and apparently you guys have the all the now you guys have all the Phoenix Wright collections in, in your hands. As for me, I don't have any rival school Even collection or power like store this. collection, so well, I got the Dark Stalker collection, so I'm happy. But still, I still have two collections there. They need to be released. So, Capcom, if you're watching this, please, please consider Rival School and Power Stone, please, please, you guys. Next, we have some news on the Monster Hunter series. Monster Hunter. First, let's take a look at this video. Monster Hunter now. Oh, it's a mobile game. Oh, okay. My name is Kano, and I'm the director for I mean, that's uh, now, that's the game that made Capcom rich, man. Monster Hunter now. That's the whole. Imagine this series system. made Capcom a lot, a lot of money with one game. If you haven't yet, you can download with one game, can you imagine? So, I really have respect for this game now. Although I don't play it that much, that the world of I only played something like the PSP era, I remember, 
you can go but hunt I just have respect for this Buffalo game, man, because it's, in your it's, own it's town. a classic, it's a nostalgia, so of course, you can also it deserves it. Others to hunt in groups of four. I think I think I think also, until now people play the Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter now, to this day people play it. I mean it's, it's, it's fucking huge, like man. What is this, a Pokemon? Even if your smartphone doesn't have a special sensor, you can take more realistic pictures with actual depth. Oh nice. I hope you'll give it a try. Finally, here's a sneak peek at the latest Monster Hunter Now news. Okay. The next major update is slated for December, with many more monsters and new weapon types planned. Okay. What's the uh, T-Rex? Hear that? That's the roar of the monster next to come. Monster Hunter Now has large updates planned for every season, with plans to add more nice, monsters man. and weapon nice. types in the future. Please look forward to it. Nice. Happy for you, Monster Hunter fans. March 2024 so will mark 20 years since the release of the first Monster Hunter Holy in shit, Japan. 20 years. My god. Been that long? To the hunters all oh god, yeah, this is the games I remember, man. Can you imagine? I, I've been... I was in that era playing games. Have a look at the Monster this is Hunter awesome, man. Anniversary logo and the first piece in the 20th oh anniversary god, man. Art series with the memories. On hunters. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna release a collection for all Monster Hunter games. The PSP and the 3DS. Oh god. Oh yeah, I remember playing this game. And the portable one. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh god, look at all, all these games, man. Monster Hunter 3 and the Wii, I think it was. Don't tell me they're gonna do a collection. Holy shit, if they did this. I swear, Capcom. Monster Hunter World. That, that the game. That is the game that ca made Capcom rich. Man. You're gonna release a new one? No fucking way. Oh, no, no. They're just showing the hunters. Well, if it's the anniversary of the game, so you do like a collection. We will have more announcements for the 20th anniversary in the future. God, it's so been 20 be years, man. To our Holy official shit. Site. I am, we hope I am that old. To enjoy the Monster Hunter series. Holy shit, man. Why can't you guys do Rival School Power Stone? <laughs> Next, we have some updates on our oh, yeah. released game. This game. <laughs> Let's start with a look at what yeah, this game died, man. Primal. I remember seeing the, the Steam players on August 16th, in the community. Uh, no one's playing like the first like the first week, maybe like three thousand, four thousand, and after like three, Today, I'd like to share four or five weeks. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, okay, we're back. <laughs> a new map, ocean so like four or five weeks ahead. Now you can enter the game and no one's playing. I think because the game came to Xbox uh, Game Pass for free, so I think the, ma the majority of the game the players in uh, Xbox. So, yeah. I mean, if, the, if Capcom just made this game for, for free, man, I think it will have success, but... So, this is a map with a lot of I don't know what, what's so use like the marketing to the strategy for this game. Like, the, like what's happening, man, to the live stream? Holy also, shit! Also, a new final mission called Escape is releasing in this title update. Escape is different than other final mission types. New final mission, it's a Escape. Player cooperative mission where both teams work together yeah, people. To I don't know. I've seen people like in the Escape community in the Steam complaining about. The game is repetitive, so phase, the same thing you go doing over and over again. It's just, just shooting dinosaurs, and that's it. Man. Like there's no new dinosaurs coming, so it's the same dinosaurs. The time limit, so I was I was actually going to buy this game, but after like the reviews and seeing the community the and the player base, and just uh, changing my mind, man. I don't want to play, man. If you can dive into the escape device through massive Especially now games are becoming so expensive, so I gotta watch what I spend my money, man. To 
Is worth it? Only it's not. For a short amount of time. So yeah. So work together with your team Maybe I'll buy this game when like there's like an 80% discount. So yeah, Title I'll consider this game. Will also now I'm not actually rigs. interested to play it. So. If you guys release Dino Crisis, then you guys can have my money. Because you guys released this game, so no, no thank you. Everybody was hoping for a new Dino Crisis. After we saw this like first trailer for this game, we thought it was Dino Crisis, and it was not. So we were like disappointed. Yeah, I don't know. The player base will increase. Oh, Street Fighter 6, man. Damn, Rio is gonna become in the game. <laughs> we unveiled the new and guile exosuit skins in our teaser this June, and today we have another one to show you. Oh, Chan Li! Holy shit! Okay, nice. Here are the exosuit skins, emotes, charms, Hadouken. stamps, and decals this, for each. This is nice. Character. For the Street Fighter fans. Yeah, but I don't think this uh, will help the game to get back. So it's just like okay, nice. Meeting special conditions during the campaign will grant you special exosuit skins. We also have plans for a double XP campaign. We'll announce the campaigns on our website now they're and they're putting more platform. content in the game, so... I think Don't after, the, like, what happened with the player base and now... Title no one ever, like, no one's on playing Wednesday, the game right now. They're day 2 and season 2 and today, October 18th. Okay. Exo Primal will begin season 2 on the same day. The season what 2 the Primal heck? Pass features an array of unique items like these exosuit skins and emotes for you to enjoy. Now, that's all the news for Title Update 2 and Season 2, mm. but I'll give you a little glimpse at upcoming updates. I'm glad I didn't buy this game, so yeah. It will not survive. Oh, Monster Hunter? The point. A collaboration with Monster Hunter is also in the works. And they're just so gonna collab with every Capcom game now, so. Title Update 3 is coming January 2024. There are even more updates on the way. We hope you'll continue enjoying Exo Primal. Yeah, Our online team-based action like title has been a hit man. with players. And no one's playing Capcom this game, so Check out the game and the why are you why are you still supporting it? So. Title updates. I've seen people stop we playing. To see you in the war games. It'll be massively fun. Like the last time I saw, there was a player base in the Steam. It was only four hundred players, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the Street Fighter guys will help you to increase the sales. So uh, I'm a, fi a big fighting game. So I'm a big fighting game guy, but I don't think I'm gonna buy this game because of free characters. Yeah. Next, here's some hot. I'm a fighting game guy, so that's why they heard me and bought Street Fighter Six now. New characters and content will. Oh, you're gonna show us up, Goki? Come on, man. Show us Goki, Akuma, man. I don't care about it. I never. Already added in July. Oh, Rashid. Rashid is one of the coolest characters, man. I'm happy, man. Like, he's one of the, the sickest characters in Street Fighter Fast. So I'm happy he's back in Street Fighter 6. No, Aiki. Aiki, man, made the internet so. I don't know. <laughs> All the internet were weeping for this character, man. Aki is an understudy of Fung, a former I thought so. Yeah, yeah, she's she's a Fung. She she's a Fung student. I hate I hate that fucking character. I thought so, man. I had my doubts. She's a Fung student. Is she using poison? If she's using poison, of course. She's a tricky character. I hope Fung doesn't come back, man. I just fucking hate that character. Well, his act, even his play, gameplay, man, I fucking hate it. And apparently we got an another one, so yeah, Aikid's gonna be like annoying as shit with the poison. Oh god. 
then moves into close range to deal even more damage to poisoned opponents. Uh, this is gonna become so annoying in the online. Holy cow. I mean, I like her game, like gameplay. Outfit one will have colors three through ten. I think it's better than Bong. And of course, outfit two. Poison characters are always annoying. Come on, man! Show us Goki. Show us Hakuma. Come on, man! The reason why I love Street Fighter is because of this character. <laughs> I love, I love other characters, but he's the most top favorite one. Like, he's my number one. Since I saw him in Street Fighter 2 back in the old days, I said, "Who the heck is this dude?" Also, starting November first, within Master like a cool version of Ryo and Ken, you know. What, what is this? Oh, a new a new rank? Legend? Well, my... Holy shit. My rank now, I think it's either Diamond and Platinum. I think it's in Diamond when I played the demo. Oh, yeah. But I'm still in Diamond. I think that's good. Oh, Rashid, man. I love that character. He's one of the few characters that but came back from Street Fighter 5. Him and Ed. I don't know why they choose Ed. I mean, like, fucking Ed, man. Really? You should choose, like, Laura or something. I think Laura and, uh, Laura and Rashid one of the best. And also, the rival school character. Oh, God. When I saw... Yes. Show us Akuma. Oh god, spring 2024. Holy shit, that's so fucking long, man. Oh god. Can also be purchased individually with fighter coins. Goki. I want to see Goki, man. Come on. Spring, I have to wait until spring 2024. Holy shit, that's so fucking long. This is so long, man. Along with the additional stages. First we're gonna Don't have to see it, then Goki and Spring. We can't this wait is... to see what the future will bring God. for Street Fighter 6. Next, let's check out some esports news. Capcom Esports continues to evolve each year. Oh yeah, the Evo man was the fucking Street insane man. Six, the newest title in the series. The pinnacle of team battles, Street Fighter League. Nine teams of Japan's top players compete to be crowned best in Japan. Damn. Then, in the Street Fighter League Takido. World Championship, the world's strongest teams duke it out for the coveted US, we Japanese Arab. There is no Middle East, man. Come on, man. Like, yeah. like the last Evo, a guy who won, won from them, he's, and he's from, like, United Arab Emirates, man. Big Bird. Man. What's his name? God. But why there is no Middle East region, man? Like, we have a lot of good fighters, man. We have a lot of good players in the Middle East region, man. Holy shit! Have you seen this part? Two million dollars? Holy fucking Capcom is making a lot of a lot of money, man. <laughs> Finally, we have some more Capcom related information to share. What is it? Take advantage of our digital sale to get popular. Oh yeah, they're doing like a digital sale discount now in their in their old platforms, now, on Steam, PlayStation, well -known Capcom Xbox, are on and sale for a limited time. Resident Evil 4 and Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection are on sale for the first time. Yeah. Other popular Capcom titles are also on sale at convenience. Look at all these games, man. Take advantage yeah, of the like, opportunity. Finally, they 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 they, they recognize there is the Capcom Fighting Collection, man. Now for some news about Capcom. Oh, come on, man. Give us some rival school. The digital theme park, Capcom Town, is currently open to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Oh, there's a Capcom Town? Oh, I, 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 I really want to go there. Inside the oh, museum, I've seen one of the oldest characters, man. Documents. Sangoku Bazara, holy shit. Yeah, Capcom forgot about this game, man. What happened, man? Yeah, over there. Date Masamoni. Masamoni Dante. Upcome town.
That's just cool, man. Capcom, like, theme park. Next, a reminder about Capcom this is so ID. cool, man. I want to go there someday. Capcom ID is a Capcom shared account service necessary for playing Exo Primal and using the online functions of Street Fighter 6. It can also okay. be used for all Capcom services and campaigns. Yeah, I have a Capcom ID, so yeah, of course. We plan you have to now have a Capcom ID. Title services that can be used. Man, Capcom, Capcom making a lot of money. Way than before. <laughs> That's all the news for today. Yeah, I was not expecting like new announcements. So, Keep yeah. an eye out for the latest Capcom news. Yeah, it was it was like a cool enough. It was a cool show, but I was not expecting. And although we weren't able to showcase them today, let's not forget about our other upcoming titles. That's all for our event today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Capcom. Um, what is this? Oh yeah, this game. They showed this game, I think, in the Xbox Live event. So yeah, this is one of the Capcom new games, and the other one, the one in this, uh, the one in the space. I don't know. They didn't have any details about this game, so so I don't know what's gonna how how the gameplay is gonna look like. Like, is it like Souls game? Souls like, who knows, Onimusha, Neo, nobody knows. So, yeah. Speaking about Onimusha, have you guys seen the Onimusha trailer? I didn't see it, so I have to see it. And speaking also about Onimusha, they should actually, like, I know they released like the HD version of the first game, but should do like the whole collection, like Emotion 2 and Emotion 3 and Emotion 4, the one, what's his name, Sake, the one he can turn into a demon, so Capcom for forgets about a lot of their classic cool games, they're just focusing about their current games, they think that, well, I don't blame them because, you know, with the new generation, they will not know rival schools and power stuff. Capcom vs. K, Blasphemous Sword, Dynamic Crisis, Chaos Legion, and Musha, so I don't play them. They're just focusing on the titles that, that make money. Okay. Yeah, Path of the Goddess. Oh, coming on all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, not PlayStation 4, this is weird, man, because I'm seeing Xbox Series X and S. What? It's coming to... It's coming to, <laughs> to mobile phones? Holy shit. Yeah, I know, Mega Man X Drive. So if you guys hoping like for a new Mega Man X series, just don't, man. No, forget it. This is your new Mega Man X series, so if you want to enjoy some new Mega Man games or new, new Mega Man X series, you gotta play this one and just be thankful. You, you guys have something for Mega Man. Now you can play on mobiles and iOS and Android. This is oh, Capcom. I didn't know you guys. Mega Man X dive offline. Oh, this is the Battle Network character. Holy shit. This is so cool. There's a like, I know there's like hundreds of characters in this game. Man. I mean, okay, I get it. There's like an offline version because the offline you can get the whole characters but you know the beauty thing about the online is you can challenge players and you can play online with players that's what i think well the ultimate function oh
Bam! Uh, Apple Store and, I, and, and, and Android, man. Holy shit. That's cool. Yep, I think that's it, you guys. So, thanks you guys for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. That would be a lot. Of, that would that will be mean a lot to me and encourage me to put more content in the channel. So, thanks thanks guys again, and I'll see you guys next in the next video. Next, next into the next. Whatever, man. I'll see you guys in the next video.